Hello friends, this is Himadri and today we will see how to create SQL Server database file using Visual Studio. So let's create web application first. I'm going to call this web application as a demo web app, demo db connection. Selecting empty over here. Okay, now go to the server explorer and click on connect to database. Here you have to select your data source. I am going to change from Microsoft SQL Server to Microsoft Sur SQL Server database file. Press OK. And give over here new database name. I am calling my database as a school. And press OK. Here you can see my database is created. And I'm going to add new table over here. Table called teacher. So yes, I'm going to call teacher. Here you can see our first my first column ID. Data type is in teacher and it is having the primary key. I want to set some properties as well. So right click on this column and click on properties. And see over here identity specification, make it true. Okay, I'm going to add a new column called name. This is the teacher's name. And I'm going to make that data type as the nvarchar 50. And I'm going to add another I'm going to add another column called subject and data type is in watcher okay click on update update database okay now you have to refresh your table and you will find table called teacher under this okay so we have a table called teacher over here I want to add some data as well with this table so I'm going to add some click on so table data okay and add ND SS Ria Mets Hardy Science Training English. Okay, just press Control S to save this data to this table, and this is saved. Okay, close everything, and you can click show table data you will find all those data over here of course i'm going to create a new waveform now so click or right click on demo db connection and add new waveform i'm going to call this waveform as a home okay just switch to the design mode and go to the toolbox okay drag and drop sql data source over here click on this link please select the database from here so it's a school place next next as you know we created a table called teacher so i'm going to select that table from here teacher and I want to display all the ta all the column from this table. So I'm selecting star. If you want to select some specific column, then choose from here. Okay, press next. Click next test query. 
here you can see some data and hit finish okay now you have to drag and drop grid view to display this data on your waveform okay we already create a sql data source one so now I'm going to link this data source with this grid view. Okay, select your data source from here. Select it. Okay, save this form and run this application. As you can see over here, this is the home.aspx waveform which we created and these are the data which we display. Okay, from the table called teacher so as you see we create a SQL server database file using Visual Studio and displaying the data on our waveform thanks for watching this video don't forget to like or comment please subscribe my channel for more video have a great day